Hey guys, um, so we've gotten these new uh, EMV Plus Zoll ventilators from USAID and we've already been using them and I just wanted to do a brief little instruction on how to use them. Like any ventilator, please be careful about what you're doing. If you're in doubt, call for help. If it's not working, beg. Remember all those basic safety things. This little two minute directions does not replace clinical care and clinical judgment. So. Um, the machine has UPS on the cart, so plug in. the machine is plugged into the UPS um, and the UPS then is plugged into the wall. Um, make sure the UPS is on to use, so you hit this button here. When the machine is plugged into power, it will just show that it's charging. The machine's not on now, it's just showing it's charging. So the patient tubings for this machine are different than what we're used to. It's um, a tubing with an implemented um, expiratory um, valve. So this expiratory valve is very important. Uh, this is what regulates the patient's breathing in and breathing out. So if it's not working, your patient will not be breathing in or out. So make sure this end does not get blocked. Don't hide it under the sheets. Um, and make sure it's, it's always kept clear. If this breaks, you need to dispose of the tubings and get new ones. Um, there's also this extra green line and the extra white line um, that helps control the ventilator. So to plug in the tubings, you look on the top of the machine, you've got the green line that plugs into the green little outlet here and the clear one that plugs into this uh, silver one. Okay, make sure they're plugged in tightly. And then your blue one, of course, comes into the one, the big one, okay? Also on top of the machine, we have our high pressure oxygen tubing. Um, that we can plug into the wall like we are used to. There's no air compressor, or sorry, medical air, because there's an internal air compressor. So on the side of the machine over here, the machine will take air from the room and make its own medical air. So once you've got the tubings on, you can turn on the machine. That's, that, that's this switch right here. The machine will do a quick little test, and then we'll show you this start menu. So here you can see, you can select adult, pediatric, mass CPAP, custom, last settings. So, and you use this dial to switch in between them. Okay, so let's say we want adult. We would hit, put on adult and then hit the check mark. Now, before we put on our patient, let's set up our mode. So we can come down here and the mode is assist control and we can turn it, maybe we want SIMB. Then always to save what you just did, hit the check mark. Okay, notice there's a little V here, that's for volume control. If you wanted pressure control, you would hit this twice and it would come to V. Now we can hit, turn this knob and make it pressure. But for this patient, let's leave it on volume, okay? Our breath rate, we can change here. So you touch it, you highlight, you turn, 13, 14, check mark. Notice we have other settings here, okay? We have the 25 and the eight, those are our alarms, okay? So when we touch this button, it'll highlight different values. So a high rate alarm of 25, I think is too low. It's gonna beep and be annoying. So I'm gonna hit 25 and I'm gonna increase this. Sorry, I lost it, 25, and then increase this to 35. And then green check mark. We also have here our IE. The default IE is one to two, which gives us an inspiratory time of 1.43. It's a little bit slow. So to change that, I'm used to setting my TI, not my IE. So I'm just gonna look at my TI here and change my TI until one second, because that's normal for an adult. So I change it to about one, it might not be perfect, that's okay, green check mark. All right, you come up here. Um, you can see it defaults to a pressure support of zero. We don't want that, let's change that. So we arrow it up, let's go to 12. Green check mark, okay? PEEP of five, I'm okay with that. High pressure, 35, that's okay. FiO2 right now is 21. If I wanted to change that, I need to make sure I'm plugged into the oxygen, but I could increase it. Now, what I'm gonna do is hook it up to a test lung before I hook it to the patient, okay? So, give me a minute here. So you hook to your test lung. This is a really big test lung. So I'm just gonna give it a few breaths to inflate. If the machine is beeping, you hit the red 
the red button and it will stop beeping, okay? So let's give it a few breaths and I'm just gonna make sure the machine is working. So as this lung inflates, it takes a few breaths. Now I wanna make sure that valve we talked about earlier is doing its job. So I look at this valve and I listen for that noise, okay? That means the valve is letting air out. If I don't hear that noise, don't put it on the patient. Then I'm also gonna take my test lung and just kind of squeeze on it and make sure the machine alarms or recognizes that. The nice thing about this machine is every alarm, it will tell you patient disconnect and some reason. So it says check patient connection. Okay, my attach, check circuit for loose hose. Okay, you know what, nothing is loose. Check exhalation valve, right? That's that little thing down here. Does it look okay? Yep. And you can go through, and for us it was disconnected because we made the patient cough. Um, so everything is there. I also want you to call your attention to the screen. You can see different values here. So let's look at PIP here. It says the 28 in a hollow number, okay? That's the measured value. It's the same on breath, respiratory rate, breath per minute. We see the 14 in dark black and 14 in outlined as that's our patient value, okay? If you wanna check a P-plat and you know how to use that, you just use this button down here while the patient's breathing in, you hold it down, release, and it will tell you your plateau pressure. That's for any volume control mode. When you're done using the machine, you just have to switch off. Realize this machine is really easy to turn off. It does not alarm. This is something I don't like, but that's okay. Um, so just be aware that when you're turning it off, it is off. There's no standby mode um, to it. These circuits, we are still looking to source in country. Ideally, they're single patient use. Um, as always, make sure you ask questions if you have questions. Um, thank you.